Hello everyone, I am Nabil Murad. I received a question from one of my followers on Facebook saying, what Excel function can be used to add students English marks plus his or her best three subject marks? For example, student A has scored 55 in English, math 18, accounting 61, economics 56, and computer studies 70. Is there an Excel function that will only add English marks plus three other subjects in which he scores more marks this case will exclude math. To answer this question and solve this problem, I created a setup in which I have in column A a list of student names, and then in column B through column H, I have the score for each student in English, math, physics, reading, history, psychology, and chemistry. If you look at the first student, I want to add the English score to the top three scores out of the six subjects from column C to column H. So if I want to do it manually, then I have to select the math score, the physics score, and the psychology score. These are the top three scores out of the six subjects. And if you look at the lower right corner, the sum is 119. So if I press Control and click on English, then the final score for this student should be 146. I want to break down this problem. The first part is to extract the top three scores. And to do that, I can use a large function. I can use an aggregate function. Let's start by using the large function. I want the top three scores. So in row number one, I'll be typing one. And then I press Control and drag to column L to get an incremental number, one, two, three. And then in the second row, I'll be creating my large function equal large, and then I hit tab, where is the array? The six subjects, and I want to lock it to the column, so I hit F4 three times, and then I hit comma, what's the K, the first large, the second large, I click on the cell above, and I can lock it to the row by hitting F4 twice, and then I close the bracket, and when I hit Control Enter, the top one is 48, and then the second one is 37, and the third one is 34. In a new column, I can calculate the final score of the student by adding the English, which is the mandatory subject, to the three scores that we extracted with the large function. I can also get the same result without having to use the top row and type 1, 2, 3. Let me delete, and instead of the large function, I'll be creating an aggregate function. So I type equal aggregate, and then I hit tab. The aggregate function is a replacement to 18 different functions. If you look at the list, I can use the aggregate function as a large function by selecting this option number 14, and then I hit comma. Which option do you like? I want to ignore error values, so I'll be typing 6, and then I hit comma. Where is the array? Then my array are the six subjects. I select the six of them, and then I hit F4 three times to lock the column but not the row. And then I hit comma. What's the first lot, the second lot, what's the K? Instead, I can use a columns function that increments as I drag to the right. So I'll be using columns with an S. I select any cell, and then I hit shift colon to select the same cell one more time, and I close the bracket. From J1 to J1, that will return 1. But if I put my blinking cursor in the first reference and I lock it, then if I drag to the right, the second cell reference will become K1, L1, and so on. Then it will be creating an incremental number. I close the bracket for the aggregate function. I hit Enter. Now if I drag to the right, I get the same exact result as the large function. But hold on a second, that's total abuse of the real estate. I need to create a function and then drag it to the right, consume three columns, and then create a column for the final score. Can we do that in one single cell? Yes, we can. I'm going to delete and start over again. And I want to use a rank function. The rank function will look at the six subjects and we'll rank them. If they are among the top three, then we'll be getting the score. Let's use the rank function equal rank, and then I select the classic rank function, I hit tab, and here is the trick, it asks me which number would you like to rank. 
I don't want to rank a single number. I want to rank all the six subjects. I select all of them and then I hit come. What's your reference? I want to rank them in this entire range and I select it one more time. If I close the bracket, I want to ask a question. Is it among the top three scores? So I type less than or equal three. Whenever we use a comparison operator in Excel, the result must be true or false. And because I'm using Microsoft 365, when I hit enter, my function spills to the right. Look at this. For the math, 48, I'm getting it true. For the physics, I'm getting it true. And then I'm getting false, false. And I'm getting, for the psychology, I'm getting it true. In computer language, true equals 1, false equals 0. And just imagine, the mass 48 multiplied by 1 will return 48. Physics 34 multiplied by 1, that will return 34. But for the reading, which is 15 multiplied by 0, which is false, that will return 0. And then for the history multiplied by false, it will return 0. The psychology will return 37. And the chemistry will be returning 0. If I can find a function that multiplies each score by the true and false, which are actually ones and zeros, and then add the result, then this function will solve the problem. This function is the sum product function. Let me delete this one after copying it, and let's start over again. Equal sum product. The sum product, as the name indicates, We'll be multiplying, that's the product portion, and we'll be adding, that's the sum portion. What would you like to multiply? I open bracket, and I select all the six subjects, and then I close the bracket. Multiplied by, I open another bracket, and I paste my rank function. Don't forget I need to delete the equal sign from here. I close the bracket for the second portion of the sum product. Then in the first array, I have the scores. In the second array, I have the ones and zeros. If you want to check, let's select the rank function and then hit the F9 key. I get trues and false. If I hit Control Z, now if I select the two parts and I multiply, now if I hit F9, I'm getting 48, 34, 0, 0, 37, and 0. Let's undo Control Z and the sum portion of the sum product will be adding these scores. I close the bracket. Don't forget, we need to add the mandatory subject. So I type a plus sign and I click on the English. Now if I hit enter, I'm getting the final score. I can copy this function down. So I'm going to delete this column, Control minus, select the calculation, double click and send it down. Type the final score here at the top, and then I hit enter, and we solve the problem.